Are these, are these right here? Uh -huh. These curl up into a ball when they're startled. The title of the book is Laughter is, is Sacred Space. And it has to do with my work in comedy and, and laughter and finding those places, uh, and specifically in biblical story. There was an angel, okay? There was an angel. But I think it's larger than that. When we laugh together, we are connecting in a way that doesn't happen in any other way. Um, there's something mystical about it. There's something spiritual about it. Uh, for me, it, it's a very sacred place. When I was asked to write the book, they wanted something that would be humorous about what it meant to grow up Mennonite. I said, well, if you want my story, it's going to stop being funny after a certain point. Um, and so hopefully people will get a glimpse into that as, as they read what it meant to be struggling with grief and, and, uh, and death and depression and, and where is a way out of that. And for me, my way out was, again, something I didn't know at the time, but I realized in retrospect my way out was to simply go back to what I thought I knew the best, which is theater and, and writing and acting and sort of flailing my way out of grief that way. Dry land and water. Acting is not putting something on so no one can see you. Acting is taking things off so everyone can see you. You're stripping yourself naked so that people can peek inside. And it's an odd thing that actors like to do that because many of us don't like to do that any other place but the stage. <laughs> Laughter is a sacred space. So a calling a, to call people into a sacred space is a a very important calling.